the future landscape of warfare is undergoing a remarkable transformation with the emergence of killer robots, marking a significant development on the battlefield. This has triggered a competitive frenzy among global militaries, each vying to surpass the other in integrating these autonomous weapon systems. The objective? To unleash destruction while minimizing human casualties, a seemingly considerate approach. While some nations are still fine-tuning prototypes in their laboratories, China has boldly showcased its advanced killer robot army, sparking widespread attention, especially among Western allies. This unveiling has inevitably raised concerns and prompted frantic strategizing among international communities. Yet, amidst the buzz, questions linger. What capabilities do these robotic soldiers possess, and what implications do they hold, particularly for the United States? Join us as we delve into an examination of China's latest venture into killer robots. China's endeavor entails an audacious plan to develop and mass-produce humanoid robots capable of seamless interaction with humans across various domains. With an unwavering commitment, China aims to achieve this feat within an impressively short time frame. According to reports from the South China Morning Post, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology MIT, has issued a detailed nine-page blueprint outlining the strategy and timeline for humanoid robot development in China. The directive urges domestic manufacturers to establish an innovative ecosystem for humanoid robots, make breakthroughs in critical technologies, and ensure the reliable supply of essential components by 2025. The ultimate aim is to position China as the global leader in humanoid robotics by 2027, a daunting ambition requiring substantial resources, coordination, and innovation. MIIT's vision for humanoid robots encompasses advanced cognitive, motor, and sensory capabilities, dubbed as having a brain, cerebellum, and limbs. While these terms may seem technical, they denote the robot's ability to process information, move, and perceive its surroundings, bolstered by cutting-edge artificial intelligence. These robots are envisioned to undertake intricate tasks such as assembly, repair, and machine operation, alongside learning and adapting to new environments and scenarios. Additionally, MIIT anticipates these robots to operate effectively in challenging and hazardous conditions, although specifics remain undisclosed. Drawing from China's previous experiments in employing robots for firefighting and law enforcement, the focus appears to be on civil and public applications rather than military or offensive purposes. For instance, during the 2019-2020 pandemic, China deployed robots for disinfection, medical supply delivery, and temperature monitoring, a testament to their potential in addressing societal challenges. This development may alleviate some concerns regarding China's intentions with humanoid robots, as they could be perceived more as assistance rather than threats. Nevertheless, both the United States and China have been engaged in a competitive pursuit to develop what are dubbed as killer robot warships, primarily to intimidate each other. However, the United States likely holds a significant advantage over Beijing concerning humanoid robotic soldiers and the integration of robots into military units. The US, known for its willingness to push technological boundaries, is eagerly embracing the concept of integrated combat units comprising both humans and robots. According to officials at the Army Futures Command, this initiative draws upon years of experimentation with robots and emerging technologies. General James Rainey, spearheading this futuristic endeavor, recently addressed soldiers at the Army Warfighting Summit with some thought-provoking statements. He emphasized the necessity to avoid risking human lives unnecessarily, and proposed employing robots for tasks such as reconnaissance in dangerous environments. Rainey's vision extends beyond merely replacing human soldiers with robots. He envisions a harmonious fusion of man and machine, leveraging their respective strengths and weaknesses to mitigate risks to human life, the most valuable asset of any army. However, while the integration of robots into combat scenarios is welcomed, certain ethical considerations remain firmly within human jurisdiction. The army is adamant about retaining control over ethical decision-making during battle, as entrusting such critical judgments to robots raises profound ethical and existential questions. Rainey stresses the importance of preserving human agency in situations demanding ethical judgments, acknowledging the potential dangers of delegating such responsibilities to machines. While Rainey's vision may seem reminiscent of science fiction, it's a tangible reality with far-reaching implications. 
the U.S. Army has been actively experimenting with human-machine teaming on the battlefield, employing various capabilities such as drones for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, as well as unmanned ground vehicles to assist soldiers. Moreover, the Army has utilized bomb disposal robots for decades, underscoring the life-saving potential of robotic technologies. Additionally, the development of artificial intelligence enhanced decision aims to expedite data analysis and provide valuable insights for soldiers. Ultimately, the goal is to achieve seamless human-machine integration at the formation level, enhancing the effectiveness and protection of warfighting formations through a combination of technologies and human decision-making authority. While this endeavor is still in its nascent stages, the team working on designing such formations envisions a future where human-machine collaboration redefines the landscape of warfare. General Rainey expressed a vision of combining ground and air systems within formations, along with the necessary support elements, to effectively locate, target, and engage the enemy with human involvement in decision-making processes. Whether these are ground-based robots or aerial drones, they should not operate independently but rather be capable of interoperating with other unmanned or manned systems. While much attention is focused on armed robots, Boston Dynamics, a prominent player in the humanoid robot industry, has been attempting to dissuade such notions. They assert that these newer generations of robots are more user-friendly, autonomous, cost-effective, and adaptable than their predecessors, capable of accessing locations previously inaccessible to automated or remotely controlled technologies. Boston Dynamics also acknowledges the potential for misuse inherent in any new technology offering novel capabilities. They caution against weaponizing robots that are remotely or autonomously operated, emphasizing the risks posed by widely available armed robots navigating into previously unreachable areas where people live and work. Weaponizing such advanced mobility robots could lead to ethical dilemmas, undermine public trust in technology, and overshadow the societal benefits they offer. Consequently, the company firmly opposes the militarization of their advanced mobility robots, particularly considering recent incidents where individuals have attempted to weaponize commercially available robots. While American counterparts may proceed cautiously in this domain, China appears to be taking a more pragmatic stance. In a recent advisory, China openly acknowledged the necessity of mass production to achieve their objectives, contrasting with the ethical concerns raised by Boston Dynamics and the growing public apprehension about the potential misuse of advanced robotics. Significant advancements in humanoid robot technology are deemed necessary. China is forward-thinking, acknowledging the importance of establishing a secure and reliable industrial supply chain system and fostering an industrial ecosystem with international competitiveness. This signifies a proactive stance, indicating readiness to tackle challenges and drive progress in this domain. Importantly, China aims not just to follow but to lead in pushing the boundaries of this technology, setting a bold ambition to establish itself as a front-runner in the field. The implications of China's aspirations are profound for the future of humanoid robot technology. With China's active involvement, we can anticipate a surge of innovation and heightened competition in this sector. While this competition fosters excellence, it also presents challenges along the path to technological supremacy. Nevertheless, by openly recognizing the need for improvement and emphasizing international competitiveness, China asserts itself as a formidable player in the global arena of humanoid robot technology. As the United States and China engage in a high-stakes game of technological advancement, the convergence of science fiction and reality becomes increasingly apparent. The debate shifts from whether hybrid robot human soldiers can be created to whether they should be. This complex question lacks a straightforward answer, and only time will reveal the implications of such advancements. Nonetheless, it's evident that we are entering an era where the integration of man and machine is pervasive. Whether this warrants celebration or concern remains uncertain, but one thing is certain. The journey ahead promises to be remarkable. As the future unfolds, it invites us to reflect on the implications and engage in discussions about the trajectory of technological advancement. What are your thoughts on this matter? Share them with us in the comments section below.